So tonight we have a couple of good fights. One of them is Mungia versus Devryachenko. A lot of people are not talking about this fight due to Mungia cherry picking behavior. However, Devryachenko could easily cause an upset tonight. Another one is Teofimo Lopez versus Josh Taylor. Now it ain't no secret, Josh Taylor versus Teofimo Lopez is the better fight and I can't wait to see it. This fight could go either two ways. If Josh Taylor could make the fight a dog fight, a fight in the inside and make Teofimo Lopez uncomfortable, he's gonna win the fight. In my eyes, that's probably by the only way he's gonna be able to beat Teofimo Lopez because stylistically, this fight favors Teofimo Lopez and that's why Tio has only been chasing Josh Taylor this entire time. If you notice, in the mix of Tio ducking everyone, there's only been one fighter he's been chasing and wanting to fight, sincerely, and that's Josh Taylor. Because stylistically, this fight favors him. That's why if Josh Taylor is gonna win, he has to beat Tio at his weakness, which is his inside game. Tio can't really fight in the inside like that, while Josh is the better inside fighter. So if Josh Taylor is able to close the gap without getting countered and do damage in the inside, he could win the fight. However, my prediction for the fight, Teofimo Lopez is going to outbox Josh Taylor in a tough fight or in an easy fight, depending on the version of Josh that's going to show up. If the same version that fought Catterall shows up, it's going to be an easy fight. It's going to be an easy night for Teofimo Lopez as he's going to be able to pick him apart with some nasty counters coming in. However, if we get the Josh Taylor of old, then I still see Teofimo Lopez winning, but it's going to be tough, especially in the later rounds for Teo, because Josh Taylor, he's definitely going to bring the fight, which if Josh Taylor does, he could break Teofimo Lopez mentally in the later rounds, and that's how he could end up winning the fight. But again, I'm going to still go with my pick, Tio, for this fight. The way a slower version of Tio, Catterall, was able to catch Josh Taylor coming in, I'm pretty sure Tio from Lopez could do the same, if not more. Now, the only thing you want to keep in mind if you are betting on the fight is that Tio said in the past he doesn't like fighting tall fighters, and Josh Taylor is a tall fighter. But the only difference is that Josh Taylor is more of an inside fighter than a distance fighter. That's why if I have to pick someone, that will be Tio. So we shall see. Therefore, go ahead and drop your prediction in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.